Welcome to the Fantasy Goons Podcast, part of the Pucks Out family. It's time to skip the book and find out the info you need to win your league with Bobby, Davey and Brandon. Welcome, welcome, welcome into the Fantasy Goons. I'm Bobby. He's Davey. He's Brandon. Hello. You can find us on social media at the Fantasy Goons. Now let's get you the info you need to be a champ. How are you guys today? I'm doing better now that we're we're back. I'm. Uh, <laughs> it feels like we were we were gone for a minute there. Yeah. Wow. Hopefully you guys didn't lose because we uh, didn't chime in on our, on yeah, our weekly ho- show. But hopefully not. Or maybe we were doing that on purpose because <laughs> if any, of you, any of you potentially are in our yeah. league. So right, that's true. Do we want him to win? <laughs> so we want you to lose early on, but we're here. Back in time for a playoffs, yeah. baby. What's yeah. up? And back in time for next week, we'll be off again because I'll be uh, right. on a cross-country road trip next <laughs> week. Uh, so hopefully you guys can uh, weather the storm without us. Um, yeah, so I, I was, I'm doing fine. Had a great week of uh, hot fantasy. I, again, missed going uh, uh, the perfect week. Just every week so far, I'm always losing in just one Same. league, but it's like a different yeah. league each week. I think there's one league where I'm undefeated still, but that's it. But overall, I'm having a pretty decent year overall. Good, yeah. Um, I think in one league, I'm in like third or fourth, but uh, most of them, I'm doing pretty decent. Um, not much news to go over. Free agency's coming up. Uh, I'm excited to see what that entails. Obviously, we'll have more information the closer we get. We're just we're under a month away now. Guessing you're probably meaning trade deadline. Yeah, what did I say? Free agency. Free, yeah, trade deadline. Uh, Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Trade Sorry. deadline. Trade deadline. Um, but yeah, so, uh, let's jump straight into our weekly impressions. February was a fun month of hockey. We had the stadium series. We've had a, a great amount of goals, goal scored. Uh, I'm excited to see what March has to offer. We are, we're closing in on playoff time. Um, Bondo, what you got? Yeah. Petcat's getting a statue. Yeah. That's dope. Uh, that's cool. Good. I like I'm that. So excited about Get that. Our first statue, uh, you know, a foot. So yeah. That's dope. That's really totally, right. totally deserving. That's yeah. a perfect, perfect oh, time it's for gonna a statue. It's going to be awesome. I didn't really have a lot of other t- uh, free time over the past week or so. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I got back and then I was here for a couple of days Then I went to a hockey game, so I couldn't really watch hockey yeah. while I was watching hockey. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, straight to Chicago. And so not a lot of, again, free time to sit up and sit about you know yeah. uh, and why did i don't just hang out and watch hockey when i'm in when i'm in another city yeah yeah, yeah fair what you got uh my, this is just more fun montreal is on a, a five game win streak and is no longer the worst team in the league uh go. arizona is as of this recording of course uh who's gonna win the crown for worst in the league this year st louis <laughs> <laughs> Every oh, time. I, I mean, I'm not even talking about a record. I'm just talking It'll about get my worst vote. Yeah. <laughs> It'll get my vote. Yeah, I don't care sure. what the record says. St. Louis is the worst team in hockey. Like, <laughs> don't. That's their their record being good is just propaganda. It's not real. It's <laughs> completely false. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's jump into um, our pickups. Jake DeBrusque, uh, dual eligibility at the wing, 19% roster to the 25 year old. He scored a, na- a natural hat trick the other night. And he wants to trade out of star studded Boston. I mean, I think his future looks bright. Depending on where he lands, this could be a guy, you know, with at only 19% rostered. He could, I mean, getting close to the playoffs, this is a guy that could make a move and his point production could skyrocket somewhere new. So I'm excited to see uh, where he is. I'm going to try and get him in a, uh, in a couple leagues. Uh, Brandon, what do you have? Uh, yeah, I have Adam Lowry. Um, for the Jets, he's always been a guy that's just been kind of on the on the line of whether folks have him or not. Seven percent rostered. He is uh, he's he's going to get you a twelve to fifteen points, uh, fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, twelve to fifteen points a game, and he's seven percent rostered. Is a well, steal in that Leafs game versus Detroit. There might have been some could have, could have been. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but yeah, twelve anywhere from twelve to sixteen minutes a game. He's been lighting it up uh, over the past couple weeks. Uh, three goals, one assist, three shorthanded points, uh, and nine shots on goal. Uh, obviously, we'll get you some faceoffs. Uh, more of a hitter than a blocker, but uh, but definitely a guy that I'm. I I always look forward to when he has that little stretch in his year to help my fantasy. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm running with uh, Eric Halla this this time. It's kind of a 
you know, it's not necessarily the greatest of picks, but I like it because of who he's playing. So it's not a guy that I'd pick up, you know, just randomly. It's like because of who he's playing. Uh, he's got good good traction against the teams he's going against, uh, the teams of the Kings, Blackhawks, and the Coyotes. So it's a easier, a little, you know, a little easier week. He's got great scoring against all three teams. Uh, he's got center left wing eligibility, seven goals, 14 assists this season, 240 faceoffs, 94 hits, 25 blocks. He can get you some pretty, cate- uh, pretty good category looks here. Uh, so I'm grabbing him. Nice. Uh, let's move into our stream of the week. Uh, I'm streaming Blake Coleman, uh, 32% roster dual eligibility with the Flames. Um, I would say the Flames, but I mean, by now, people probably have most of the Flames, but uh, he's got five games this week and at only 32% rostered, he's a great pickup for this coming up week. So get him, uh, you know, maybe hold on to him for the playoffs, maybe not. Um, but I, I like him a lot and I like that the Flames week a lot as well. Davey, what do you got? I'm running with the Florida Panthers. Uh, they're they're on a little bit of a losing streak right now, but that, that is absolutely going to turn around, uh, especially the week they have coming up. Uh, there's some they've got four games, uh, a little bit easier games this week. They've got Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and L.A. Uh, I think they're going to come on in and fix this losing streak, come alive here, and beat the Florida Panthers that we've seen pretty much most of the season. So go Panthers, pick them up if you can. Me, I'm yeah. going with uh, I'm going with the Kings. The Kings have been playing some pretty good hockey. Uh, Looking forward to seeing them on the old you know, sheet so I can throw some bets on them. Uh, four games. Uh, I like the way that their games are kind of set up with a Monday game, then not another game until Thursday, um, and then a Saturday-Sunday game. Four games total, two against the Sharks, um, one against Boston, and one against the Panthers. Again, Davey kind of mentioned the Panthers have been not the Panthers that, that we've seen all year. Um, but ultimately, I think that it, fantasy wise, I, I don't I don't know what kind of ultimate record they're going to come out of this week with. But I think that they're they're going to be some goals scored in this game. Hundred percent. I like the Kings a lot this year. I like them in fantasy and you know to get into the playoffs. Uh, but let's move into our tailing and fading. Uh, I talked a little bit earlier. I, I'm tailing the Flames. They've got five games. Four of those games are at home. They went on a ten game win streak. That's hard to put together <laughs> wow. in this league. Jacob Markstrom is playing lights out. Um, in the preseason, I had I got him at plus two thousand odds to win the Vesna. Uh, maybe not a little, a little bit. No, it was actually a little bit into the season. A couple about two weeks into the season, I got him at plus two thousand to win the Vesna, and it, he's. I mean, honestly, for me at least, I think he's the front runner. Looks good right now. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the Flames. Uh, I think the Flames will win the Pacific. Honestly, it, I do too. They, I do they, they too. are. I mean, they are. They've got. All, they've got it all put together. And if you told me that it's Calgary versus Tampa in the final, I wouldn't be surprised at all. I wouldn't be mad either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like um, that. Dave, what do you got? I'm going, uh, this is a team, too, that this is just a great team. I mean, they're, they're top five in the league pretty much most season. Uh, this is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, they're on a three-game winning streak. They've got an easier week ahead with Columbus, Seattle, Arizona, Buffalo. <laughs> so this Which team. means they could go <laughs> one and three. <laughs> yeah, they could, but I also like the chances of, you know, anybody on this team that you might even feel like is a third liner. I feel like they're going to get good looks this week, Yeah, uh, with, especially with, you know, playoffs are kind of nearing. I mean, if you think about yeah. it, in, in Mitch terms Warner's of been it, stepping it up. A lot. Yeah. So, I mean, I could see uh, I could see them just tearing it up this week. So I'm going Toronto. Yeah. Didn't know what, um, you know, how many games they had. But initially, that was kind of where I was thinking about going yeah. and saw that you had it locked in. Uh, I'm going to go with the wild uh, four games. Rangers. Um, Red Wings, Blue Jackets, and the Preds. Lots of lots of opportunities here. Um, I mean, you know, uh, these are these are games that I think that again, lots of goals can be scored. I mean, I feel like the Wild are a very are a very strong team. Uh, Rangers are, are great, but I think these other three games, you know, are their games to lose uh, against the against the Preds, the Blue Jackets, and the the Red Wings. So. We will we will see, but that is who I'm I'm going after this week. Uh, moving on to fading, uh, Brandon, why don't you lead us off? I'm fading Dallas. Uh, two games, you know, game the amount of games that you're playing always factor in if I if I'm I'm looking to grab your guys or not. Uh, obviously, I'm not dropping anybody that I have already on Dallas, but I'm definitely not seeking them out for two games against the Predators and the Rangers. Uh, not even really close together, so it's not even like it's a good stream option to where you bring a guy in for two games in a row, rid of him again. If you wanted a guy, you got to wait three days after Tuesday, uh, Tuesday to Saturday, to get that guy, get usage out of that guy. Uh, so generally, I'm just going to fade and, and stay away from Dallas. 
Yeah, I was initially going to be mine, uh, and and I just I just so probably same reason, yeah, same reasoning, <laughs> I, and I was just like, yeah, let's do something different. I don't want to fade my boys, you know. But uh, so I'm I'm I'll fading. fade them. I'll <laughs> yeah, fade your boys. I figured no you probably problem. would. <laughs> so I'm going to fade the Red Wings this week. Uh, they do have three games: one against Arizona, which you know is is an easier one, but they they will have to try to tackle the Minnesota Wild and the Calgary Flames. Uh, they're currently on a two game losing streak. The the chances of the Red Wings making the playoffs at this point is starting to fade pretty pretty badly. So uh, yeah. uh, it's it's just doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I, I'm going to fade the Red Wings. I don't like the weak, and uh, yeah, we're running with them. Um. All right. Yeah. Uh. This is the Sharks. Uh. They've got two games this whole week, and they're against the Kings. I think they drop both, and I would say that the under is probably going to hit on those games to be honest and if the over does it i think the kings do it all by themselves i i mean the the sharks i think are getting ready to uh move some of their names like tomas hurdle and i think that they, they, they're gonna uh reduce minutes so he doesn't get injured i don't like the sharks this week at all i mean now i do want to say i love the sharks they're probably my second favorite they're probably my second team if i wasn't a preds fan best colors in the league yeah i don't like them <laughs> for fantasy purposes but all right guys that's about wraps it up. Uh, these guys will uh, maybe Davey will put out some stuff on Twitter for next week. Uh, but we will see you in guys in two weeks. Peace. This has been the Fantasy Goons Podcast, brought to you by Standing Stone Farms. Listen to the boys every week and join in on the conversation on the three majors of social media. Uh-huh.